How y'all doing? Um, welcome to the very, very first episode of Chill Talks. And my name is Antonio Chill. I'm going to be your host today. And today I got a friend with me. What's BK. up, man? My name is BK. <laughs> Some of y'all know me as Bryce. Look, my name is Bryce. You're BK17 on IG. Nobody's ever referred to you as that. But all right. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> but this going to be, this pretty much, this podcast is going to be about just Really, just about anything, long, like no gossip though. Of course, you know that's that's not we. We ain't coming here to talk about how we hate women because we don't. We ain't coming to talk about none of that Andrew Tate stuff. So you look for all that. Uh, go down to YouTube Street, click in Andrew Tate. But so I think that like, we should just go ahead and talk about our first topic. Which is our first topic is going to be. I don't know what is our first topic going to be. I didn't think we get this far. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't expect us to get this far. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We got to set up it, but I ain't expect us to get this far. No, nah, but I guess we touched on one of the topics we touched on last night about. Um, so let's let's uh. What? I'm sorry. Uh, we did touch on a few topics last night. We talked about music. We talked about music. We talked about basketball. I mean, we talked about music. Like, who's your who's your uh, who's your favorite rapper right now? Right now? Yeah. You only pick one. I know it's gonna be hard. You gotta pick one. Oh, that's, that's hard. Exactly. I got. Can I have a tie? I got a tie. A t- I got a tie. I want A one B. Future and Lil Dirt. One A one B. Future and Lil Dirt. I want A one B. I've been listening to some old Future, and that that been going crazy, man. I've been listening to some old slash new Dirt. I was just too. I was just listening to that old Future. Well, I listen to old Future too. That um, the one um, mixtape mm-hmm. had with Purple Rain on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you feel me? Or like I like I like I like the tape future. Like it's a tape called Future with him on it. It's like a yellow and gold tape. It's like, that's what mask off and, and that's the one with mask off and everything. Yeah, that's the yeah, I'm so groovy. I, I got, got powers. powers. Yeah. I'm so groovy. Yeah. I got powers. That's so. hard. Come on. Come on. What about you? Me? Oh. I don't know. I feel like at one point I did, but now I just be listening. To I be li- it's too much music out there right now, man. I can't say who I who I got as a favorite right now. Like I can say who I recently probably listened to, like yesterday, but it seemed like everything just coming and going. Like think about it, bro. Like every month somebody's been releasing something, a single or something. Yeah. I can't keep up. Like, bro. Every, like all these albums and stuff like that. Yeah. It's- Especially in the summer months and now fall, you know Drake finna come with something nice. <laughs> yeah, uh, G Herbo finna come with something. The Migos finna come with something. There's a lot Migos of music. Too? Yeah, they dropping on August. The Migos dropping on August, October the seventh. October the second. Seventh. Seventh. Yeah. Dang, but you on that? Ain't you? You yeah. manager? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I, I want to see what Quavo want to take off really good. I mean, Quavo want to take off really good without all shit. So I want to see what they album gonna talk about because he left the group and shit. I'll say left the group. Yeah, he what know, he did that? He he just he not on part of none of them like new music and stuff like that. It's just been Quavo on and take off. So like, like did he say like publicly that he left the group? No, nah, not for real. But like everybody kind of know because like he ain't even he ain't on none of their tracks no more. Also, you got his own thing going now. Okay, I kind of see just kind of pretty much from what you're seeing. Yeah, what you're viewing. I I get it. I get it. Oh, mm-hmm. oh hold on, man. How you get stuck, man? Come here. Uh uh-uh, uh, stop moving. Yeah, but just dealing with kids. <laughs> no, but okay. So who's your favorite Migo? Oh, I have to go to Quavo. I can't lie. Just just based just just off the hooks, bro. And then, just for hooks, bro. That that that, that hooks go crazy. The hook really say the hook really make a song for real for real. The hook really make a song for real, for real. Oh, that's what I believe. If your hook, if your hook go crazy, you can go anywhere. Oh God! Look at Ice Spice. Look at Glow Real. Look. Right. I mean, all them hooks. All them hooks. I, I get what you mean, cause like a hook can really take you a long way. Yeah. Sure. Hook. He got a hook, and then when he be, like, and when he be, he be rapping, he go crazy too. But the best rapper is probably Takeoff. I can't okay. lie. Can't lie. Okay. The best rapper is Takeoff. Okay. Yeah, metaphorically and stuff like that. Because metaphors go crazy. You got, you got metaphors like him and No Cap. And metaphors go crazy. Shout out No Cap. Shout out Rilo. Shout out all the boys from Mobile. Shout out, um, why oh, did I forget his name? 
How I just heard his song yesterday. He's on Big Avo. No, not Big Avo. He's on Mobile um, too, ain't he? Yeah, this I don't. They, yeah, there's people saying that Big Avo from Mobile. I don't know what the scoop is on that. Like I never met him when I was in Mobile at all. Like I never ran a pass with him. But you know what's crazy though? I did when I went to Murphy. Well, yeah, when I went to Murphy my um, sophomore year, I I've had like this small memory of seeing No Cap there, like before he was. Like I, I didn't know exactly who he was. Like you know, oh, we just, just a kid. Wait, we were just normal people. You feel me? Oh yeah. And then like now he's like rapping and stuff. I'm like cool, bet. But it just shows you how small the world is because like at one point, like you know that video, you know that video he did in um the first video he did with the uh, Ghetto Angels. Yeah. I used to just live in that same neighborhood. For real. So that's why when I see him, I'm like bro, I know exactly where that is. Like I had drive to that this day. Like dang. Is what I'm saying. Like small world and like just the fact that like I. I wouldn't say I grew up there because I, I moved around a lot, but I wouldn't say I grew up there. But like, I'm pretty sure I stayed there for at least three years, I say. Tight. So I kind of know that area from at a young age. And like, it's rough out there. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, like, they got broken bottles by the playground. The playground got holes in them because people be smoking on them. I'm like, man. No, nah, but it's just weird because like, seeing him. Now that little flashback I have of him in my bearing, he was just like a, the average dude walking around just like me. You know what I'm saying? And then like now, he doing a thing, he in, the, he in his hood, well he's in Maysville, I'm pretty sure. And he's uh, recording video, I'm just like, dang, like, I would not expect Maysville to be shown like this, um, um, like thousands of views, millions of views now. Hey, I feel that, I feel that. In a sense, but you know, it's funny though, like people still won't know what it is, they just think, oh, he just in the hood somewhere. But to me, it's kind of like, dang, like, bro, like, that's kind of my hood. <laughs> where you're from, that's kind of my hood. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even say, I, I wouldn't even say, I can't claim nowhere because I, I moved around too much. So that's why people ask me, like, what part of Mobile are you from? Like, I'm just really from Mobile. Like, I mean, I've been in different areas of Mobile. It's a, it's a group chat. Yeah. Uh, they can wait. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, no, it was cool, though. But you said no cap. That was understandable. I respect it. Yeah, his, respect uh, it. yeah his, the, his metaphors go crazy, bro. I can't lie. Okay. So, uh, I guess next topic, boom. You, so, big women or petite women? Little women? Ooh, you like skinny women with a pretty face? Oh, that's or you hard. Like big women? That's hard. I can't lie. That's hard for you? I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I mean, like, you know what you like. I like, them, I like them both. I like, like them both. I like both of them. You like them skinny and thick? That yeah. don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> no, all I'm saying, like, like, yeah, I like them both. Like, skinny and thick. Like, like, like shit, if you, if you bad and you look good, hey. Pretty much. I can't saying, really say nothing. Pretty much he's saying that she bad. He down for the, he down for the ride. Yeah, much. she, she fine. Yeah, and I like, I like what I see. Understand. And she like what she see back. A tall, handsome black man. Come on, tall, handsome black man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get what you get. All right, so how about this? Let's say you in a scenario, right? Let's say the scenario is you, you like this, you want this girl, right? Okay. You start talking to her, probably what? Y'all went on a date or whatever, talked to her about three weeks, whatever. Y'all cool, y'all went on a date. Just to find out that one of her friends is the baddest one out the group, and you find out that she low key feeling you. Wait, what? What we want? The friend? The or friend. Is feeling me? Yes, the the baddest one out the group. Cause like they all bad, but she the baddest one out the group. As a man, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna leave her friend? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you. Now be wise. Like, answer this. Man. I know, I know, right? I know, right? You but, be canceled on everything. <laughs> I know, I know, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. If we, if me and the, if me and the, the girl I already started talking to, and we. I already start clicking, we going on dates and stuff like that. Man, and we and we rocking solid. Yeah. I'ma stay with her. I ain't going to the friend cause that's cause I wouldn't have known the friend if it wasn't for her. So you just gonna lie on camera? <laughs> no, no, <I'm> lie on <laughs> camera. Ain't nobody lying. I'm just being a honey. I'm being for All real. Right, okay, bro. I mean, hey bro, like I can't I'm, tell you lying. I'm being a honey. Like I'll stay with the friend cause like we yeah. are we already went on a date. Like we already we been kicking it, we been cool and type stuff. Hey. And like I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to uh, fuck up their friendship. But if she goes south, <laughs> and she and her friend want me, that's not my fault. I, <laughs> you better, you better shoot your friend wisely. That's all I said. 
understandable. It's completely understandable. I wouldn't even have no other way, honestly. But that's cool though, that's cool though. You got any topics you had you wanted to bring up? No. Uh I got a few more. I just Oh yeah, you go yeah, yeah go, go ahead, ahead. Go, go ahead, bro. I'm, I'm gonna let you <laughs> let me do my thing, let yeah. me rock out. <laughs> yeah. I'll All say right, something so, if I want to. Alright, so hear me out. Why do you think that 2K has such a chokehold on, on, the, the, on the average African American man? <laughs> because bro, like it's it's basketball and it's like like I don't know, but basketball is like it's just a it's it's just a come together type of sport because you can play it in all types of seasons: winter, fall. Hold on, you play in basketball? Well, I guess you. Could yeah, and indoors, them. indoors, because indoors and stuff like that. Ain't nobody wants no outside. I know you not outside. Ain't nobody wants no outside. Even there with winter coats. <laughs> <on. laughs> I've done that one time, bro. I can't lie. I've done that one time because. I ain't, feel, I ain't feel like going to the like when no gym open for real. I'm like, damn. And where you from? It be snowing in St. Louis. St. Louis, bro. It be snowing, right? Hell yeah, it be snowing. I know you out there be slipping like that. I got I got I ain't gonna lie. I don't wear, I, don't, I ain't never had no pair of boots. So I, wear, I, I wear tennis shoes in the winter. I wear tennis shoes in the winter. I don't wear Boy. boots and shit like that. Boy. I need to get some, I need to get my first pair of Tim's though, no, for real. Mm -hmm. But boots and stuff, like tennis shoes, like playing in the snow, mm -hmm. bro. That shit is wild. Or you gonna bust your ass because it's slippery and fucking. And I got basketball shoes. I, wear, I got Jordans on this shit in the winter time. Right. Yeah. I remember some people used to put bags over their Jordans in the winter time, bro. Like the bags over their J's. Yeah, they used to put like they used to put like uh, plastic bags, like Walmart bags, or like uh, plastic bags over their shoes, like Ziploc bags over their shoes, and walk in them. So they won't get their feet, so they won't get their J's dirty. I remember seeing this shit in middle school, but I'm like, bro, y'all for real, bro? Y'all tweaking, bro? It's yeah, not, yeah. it's not that serious. Just wear some other shoes and bring them, bring them, bring them shoes. Make to school. I'm like, just hold them up or something, cause you doing too much with that. Nah, that's funny though. I guess they said, look, bro, you gotta protect the drip at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I used, bro, that used to just blow me in school, but like people used to have like a bag of like shoes and stuff like that. Appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because I seen that in a picture. But I'm like, I've never seen anybody in real life do it though. Yeah, I, no, I've seen people do that. I wish, I, I wish I had pictures of that back in the. Back, I feel like an old head back in the day <laughs> when I was in middle school. Yeah, but uh, okay. So I got a question, bro. What's up? So, if you are a father, okay. So you, I am a father. Okay. <laughs> to to your dog bear. To your dog bear. <laughs> My boy bear. Yeah, to your boy dog there. Yeah. But if you were a father, you were dropping off your co your your daughter off at college uh -huh. at an HBCU. Okay. I, I feel like I know you. <laughs> what is your first thought in your head? First thought in my head, I'm just gonna tell her. Like, I don't know. I'm just What's like, your advice to her? Yeah, that's my that's what I'm trying to get. My at. advice is gonna be okay. Have fun. Well, my people told me have fun, but make sure you handle your business always. So like, make sure you handle your business first, then go have fun. Or if you're gonna do either or, make sure your business get handled afterwards. Mm -hmm. But, and then they'll also, you know, which I wouldn't even, probably the way the we is now, we wouldn't have to give them the birds and the bees talk yeah. about most of them. But I would just tell them like, hey, do not come back pregnant. <laughs> I will this on you now. Like, <laughs> so we we two we two young black right. men that go to an HBCU. Okay. And I'm just tell, I would just tell her like, bro, like be careful, like do not and do not mess with none of the football players. <laughs> you know, I'm for real. Because, <laughs> because some and like and certain dudes, and I'll be like, they hanging outside somewhere in the building late at night, do not mess with them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Any nigga hanging outside the gas station, do not mess with him. <laughs> Don't hang with no nigga that hang out to the side of the building until 3 o'clock in the morning. He ain't got no goals, <laughs> no morals, none. <laughs> <laughs> if he smoke a black, instantly cut him off. <laughs> I ain't even funny as hell, but I, I ain't a lie. If I'm driving off my daughter at a HBCU college, I'm telling her, first things first, please, please be wise with your decisions. I want you to have fun, but don't. I don't want to have to come back and get you up out of here. Right. And that's all I'm telling you. You feel me? And, and like, saying, like, I'll tell her, like, do it, have fun. Hey, but get your business done for real. Like, 
And don't and don't be out here doing dinos. <laughs> I can't lie. I'm gonna tell my dog, don't be out here doing every dino you see in this bitch. Right. You feel me like for the guy that's out here. <laughs> I look, I'll raise you right in this motherfucker. Don't don't hey, don't hey, don't hey, disrespect. Hey, hey, you gotta look at it. Don't disrespect me like that, oh god. <laughs> Don't hey. be doing dinos. No, I'm dead ass. I might tell my daughter that. Don't be doing hella dinos in this bitch. I can't lie. Listen, <laughs> listen. You gotta uh, come What's here. Okay? What's okay. Anyway, bro, you gotta look. You gotta look your daughter in the eyes, bro. Lock in with her. Be like, lock the fuck in. Fuck out. Oh my. Oh my. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, but so this nigga, <laughs> this man just took over the podcast, Loki. <laughs> <laughs> Were you good, good bro? <laughs> Calm down, you good. But, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. And anybody that's about to come to college, if you happen to see this any time in the near future before you come to college, if you go to HBCU, please make sure your financial aid situation is straight before you arrive. Especially if you're going to Alabama A and M. They will hold you for your class. They, they will hold, hold you for your class. They will not let you rest the hood. You will be homeless. I can't lie. You will be in a box somewhere underneath the bridge. I can't lie, bro. You're gonna struggle out there, mother. You're gonna struggle. I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta think, everybody that come there, they already some bums. You feel me? Like, as soon as you go to a new college, you are a bum. No matter, even the people that you think is getting money, they a bum too. They probably just hey, scamming. Hey, <laughs> and, them, and them people that you see at the PWI, hey, I ain't gonna lie to you, they playing all the hell of bread. Like, right. For education and shit like that. Right. You gonna get that shit same with HBCU, oh God. I tell you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't paying, that's, that's a tuition. Tuition, mm-hmm. 45K out of state student. 45k That's lit. That is crazy. That's crazy. Who got 45k just to throw? Nah, nah, a semester, nah. like a per year. Nah, nah. Who got 45k just to throw like that? I definitely don't. 45k. I might have to start my own school. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? They tell me I got to throw 45k somewhere. I'm, you tweaking? I'm you sorry. Know what, you know what? You know what's crazy though? You know. Uh, Okay, so let's talk about this. You know how Kanye he out here doing something now. He's been in that stuff. I was just gonna, I was just gonna bring up the topic about Kanye. Kanye. Look, he, I heard in an interview that he said he's gonna drop the Yeezy for twenty dollars. Yes, yeah, so you gonna buy? I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna lie. I'm buying them. 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 I want like six, seven pair. I want like six, seven pair. They come in different colors, or you just getting? I think they gonna. I think they gonna come in different colors, bro. They gotta to come in different colors. Why would he make? I mean, but you gotta think, bro. It's Kanye. Kind of bro, he already got different colors on him, like black, brown. White. All I saw was black. I did. I just saw Lil Uzi him wearing. I, I saw. I saw white. I saw some white, like white and gray ones. The one he had in the interview. He said, "What we call these easy foam runners type?" Yeah. The glasses are shades, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Bro, I swear, if you, I ain't gonna lie, I'm buying them. What you think about that, bro? Huh? $20? That's a good price. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's a... Because this year right now, probably like, this year right now, like, $250, 300 And then if you resell them, like, you probably, you probably, you getting them, you getting them off for like four, five hundred. Right. So, like, that's crazy, bro. I think that's wild, bro. $20. But you know what's he gonna crazy, make, He gonna make, I, I ain't gonna lie to you, he might make a billion dollars just off of that, bro. He might make a, he might make he might make like seven hundred million or just off off putting the Yeezy for twenty dollars because it's more affordable for people to buy. Yes, bro. You gotta think, bro. And twenty dollars is easy. All to come the by. baddies gonna buy it. I see it right now. I can see the future. All the bad women gonna buy that. I'm fine. I'm fine. Every girl at ATCU gonna have them shades on, bro. I promise you. I'm, I'm mark my words right now, America. All the baddies gonna have them shades. Hey, yo, I might, I might, I might buy them shades too. Cause ain't Kanye and Uzi wear them. I ain't gonna lie, I might buy them shades too. I ain't gonna lie, I might buy them like Cardi, 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 he Cardi, he Cardi, he Cardi, he Cardi, Cardi, the Rolling Loud. He bought Cardi, Cardi at it, Rolling Loud. Kanye West. Well, I thought, I thought he, it was opposite. Like Cardi bought. No, Kanye bought Cardi. Kanye bought Cardi out for uh. That is, know, somebody must have had a headline wrong. That, then. That's, that's wild, bro. Yeah. Be, this man right here. How do you feel about Playboy Cardi? We gonna get this out the court. What you mean? How I feel about Playboy Cardi? I I like I like some of his music. I don't like all his music. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Like honestly, and I know you. I know you talking about. Cause I made that post the other day uh, about uh, how dudes be in the conversation cheering for Playboy Cardi. 
but that's just me being funny. I mean, I like him as an artist, and I like like some of his song music, like some of the songs he does. But it's just like it just some song that just it just ain't it. I feel that. I feel that. It's bro. some song that's ain't. Car- it. Hey, bro, it's, it's okay because look, everybody's not a everybody's not a vamp. King Vamp, everybody. <laughs> I did, before even all that, I still was kind of like, okay, I kind of wish you would have said more on this song. Or I wish you would have just like kept it to yourself. Yeah, but, but I, <laughs> yeah, everybody's not really a King Vamp type thing. And yeah, that, that ain't gonna lie to you. I like that shit. That shit, cause I like, ain't gonna lie, I like rock music and then I like rap. And so like when he put, when you put rap music, when you put rap music on rock beats, and like and and just intertwine the two that it just it just that just music to my ear that's hard I just that's hard I just think that's that's to go crazy. Play with Cardi different, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know who works. Play with Cardi fans or Young Boy fans. I think Young Boy fans. Definitely Young Boy, especially when he keeps dropping a new hot track every other weekend. Yeah. Bro, like I ain't gonna lie. I think he's gonna retire. Hot take. BK thinks that <laughs> Young Boy is gonna retire in the next year and a half. That's a serious hot take. That's a serious hot take. You gonna make some money on it? <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie, I would. Low key How could. much would you bet on it? I, I ain't gonna lie, I'll probably bet like I'll probably bet like forty bucks on it. Oh, okay, I, about to, I thought you said about four hundred. I about to say, man. I'll probably bet like forty on it. Cause like, okay. Cause he just he he keep hitting he keep hinting. Come here. He keep hinting that uh that he finna like retire and he wanna stop doing music. He do that shit like every six months. Right. Like I mean, he do that shit like every year. Like he's on house arrest. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I don't know. I, no, he can't be because he said he just beat his case and he's gonna do a tour in Chicago. His first tour date, him and Quando Rondo gonna go to Chicago. Right. Right. I hope they. I hope the boys have fun. You all right? You breathing hard? He's a war. I hope them boys have fun. Right. I hope they do too. But. That's pretty much all I'm talking about today, man. Uh, appreciate you coming out, Bryce. You know, oh, I don't know who's going to be my next special guest. I might grab another A&M, fellow A&M student. But yeah, uh, appreciate you having me, man. Oh, mom. Appreciate you coming through.